Welcome back to me being cheap. We're out here at the big garden. We're going to be out here for a while. And so we're going to set up the sun oven so that we can have a dinner later on. So it is, uh, oh, moderately sunny today. There's some, uh, there's some clouds that keep coming over. But uh, I think it'll be good enough that we can cook. So the first thing we need to do is start preheating the uh, solar oven up. And then we're actually going to do chicken legs and uh, mixed veggies and rice. So I have a lot of this stuff here I need to do. Back up, puppy. So I'll have to get this uh, put together. I didn't bring a tripod, so um, I'll just have to put it together and then tell you how I did it because I need both hands especially dealing with raw chicken out here. All right, I'll check back in with you in a few. Okay, the first thing we're going to make is the uh, rice. And before I left, I just put the rice down into the uh, chicken stock. So this is two cups of chicken stock and one cup, uh, and this is just plain white rice. So there's a few grains of rice that are left in there. I'll have to a spoon and push those out so that's that and then I've got some of these uh, dehydrated onions I made I'm gonna sprinkle some of those in there okay now it hasn't been very long and as you can see the Sun oven is already up to 150 degrees we're gonna go ahead and open this so we can place the rice in there We'll let that get going and uh, the pots that I'm using they actually stack so the chicken and veggies will go in this other pot and they'll stack on top of each other okay I'll check back in with you in a few all right welcome back I have opened up the mixed vegetables these are some that I bought from Kroger when they had them on sale for 88 cents um, I'm going to add to it about a teaspoon of garlic that has been um, crushed. So I've got the garlic added to the mixed vegetables. We're going to add some rosemary. Take some of that in there. And some tarragon. And then to that, put in a little olive oil. Some salt. And some pepper. we are going to add the chicken legs. Did you bring a knife? Mm-hmm. You did. All right. In the truck. In the truck. Okay, you can go ahead and stop it. All right, so we're going to add to it the chicken legs. These are some that we had vacuum sealed. We bought these for cheap. They were frozen, thawed them out. Um, I'm going to try and do this without handling the raw chicken, but we do have a faucet here that we can wash our hands. All right. Just add this on top of the vegetables. And then we're going to put on some more olive oil. Olivo olio. Oh, there's the cutest grandma that's got a cooking show on YouTube. We love to watch her. She looks, she makes 
uh, some of the most delicious looking food, but it cracks us up how she says olive oil. What is the name of her channel? Uh, Buon Appetit. Yeah. And most of her, uh... She's a little Italian, Grandma. Yeah, most of her, uh, shows that she has recorded says, like, Italian Grandma Cooks Whatever. So cute. And we're going to add some more pepper. on the chicken. And we are using rosemary and tarragon. Some of the other recommended ones were herbs de Provence and thyme. But we went with these two. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So not much prep to it at all. And I think oh no, this, this came with two lids. I oh don't know, maybe I'll use the black one. Maybe it'll help hold in the heat a little bit. So just a couple minutes ago, the oven was at 150. As you can see, it's at 200 now. So it doesn't take very long for this to heat up. And again, these, pat, these pans just stack. Ooh, Okay. We got our shadow lined up. I, yeah, sort of. It looks like it's moved again. Yeah, got to maintain it every now and then periodically. But this is the All American Sun Oven. And according to the cookbook that came with it, uh, the chicken should be done in about two to three hours. So probably about the time we're ready to eat something. The rice doesn't take as long to cook, but the nice thing about a solar oven is that you don't burn. You don't burn your food. So I guess it would be okay to leave it in there a little bit longer. All right, well, we've got a lot of gardening to do, so we will get to work on the garden. Check back in with you in a few. Thanks for watching. Okay, I am getting ready to plant some baby lima beans, and those had to soak overnight, so those um, are actually in the jar. And then I'm getting ready to plant another variety of lima bean, um, and these did not have to soak overnight. So uh, Michael burned the holes for them yesterday, and each of these varieties get planted uh, one inch to one and a half inches deep. Um, if I poke my hole or my finger into the hole and make a hole with my finger, if I go up to my first knuckle, it's about an inch. So if I go just a little bit beyond that, I'll probably be getting the ideal variety. What I'm going to do is go ahead and lay these beans out in the hole and then I'll just go down and um, poke holes in it and cover them over and get it done that way. All right, I'll check back in with you in a few. Okay, I just planted the lima beans over here at the solar oven. And we're at about 250. All right, check back in with you in a few. So Michael's planting corn. He's got his tape measure stretched out along a line. And then how far apart are you spacing those? Nine inches. Nine inches. All right, he's just using a, a rake handle to make the holes. And the variety we are planting today is called Sweet Corn Ruby Queen Hybrid. I believe this is a red corn, but it is a sweet corn. I've never had it before, so I'm looking forward to trying it. He has already planted two rows. You can probably see the holes. 
going to go back in and cover them up after he has uh, has them planted. A lot of rocky in this soil. Yep. This particular patch of the garden is rocky. Okay, check back in with you in a few. Okay, so I'm going to sit in the shade for a little bit and I'm going to get my garlic ready to plant. And I believe this came from Walmart. I really don't remember, but this is garlic. And there are four bulbs in this pack. I don't know if you could see through there. There's four. We're going to break these down into individual cloves. Um, if you can't find planting garlic at the store, you can get some just from the grocery section. Anyway, here's the bulb, and there's individual cloves contained in that. So we're going to split this down into the individual cloves. Um, and go ahead and get this planted. Okay, thanks for watching. Alright, I am planting onions. We're going to have three rows of yellow, that's what I'm working on right now, and then three rows of white, and three rows of red. Um, on this first row here with the garlic, I already planted that earlier today. So I've just loosened up the soil, and you just place the onion bulb on top. Root ends pointing down, pointy end facing up. You just set them on there. And hopefully we get some decent sized onions. Oh, it's windy. Alright, thanks for watching. Sun is starting to go down. We've had a long day. Here are the potatoes. We ended up with, uh, we dug 10 rows, but we ended up planting 9 rows. And I think we had uh, 5 pounds of Yukon Gold, but these ones that are already sprouted were some that were left over from last year that I got out of the uh, kitchen. They had already sprouted, so some of them were pretty small. They didn't get used last year. So we decided to go ahead and plant them. And these red potatoes, uh, I'm guessing the ones that are sprouted, there's probably about five pounds of them. Um, they belong to the daughter of the friend whose land we're farming right now, or gardening. And we started out with uh, 10 pounds of these russets. And uh, Mr. Rowe here, there's a few little nubs that are down in there. They're so small you can't see them. They progressively get bigger. These little nubs are uh, little red potatoes that were left over from last year. And we got more red potatoes. And I found one blue potato that survived the winter sitting out on the porch. And it's down here. You can kind of see the coloring on it. It's one of those blue-purple potatoes. So, we're going to hope that it grows. It would be nice to get some of those. Anyway, quite a bit of potatoes. I'll give you a tour of everything else. So, these sections of beans here are wax beans, green two varieties of green, pe green beans, and dragon tongue. So, we have the Oh, what variety is this? Garden Bean. Golden Wax Improved. Got a lot of those. These are the... What are these? Big Kahunas. And then walking down here... These are the Dragon Tongue. They look really cool. And these are the tender green. So all of these beans are supposed to be stringless and they're supposed to be bush beans, but we shall see. Also planted some miscellaneous cucumbers. 
and then we've got all of the onions planted three rows of each color so we have yellow on the far end red in the middle and white I uh, opened the door on the Sun oven so that it could start cooling off so that I could actually handle the pot I give you guys a peek I don't think we're gonna eat it here I think we're gonna take it with us but since it is already 7-eleven we'll already have dinner cooked so we don't have to worry about that when we get home but I do want to show you what this looks like and yeah it's cooled off so it's still it's only 100 degrees there's the chicken wish you guys could smell it smells amazing that's the chicken I'm gonna show you guys the rice and there's the rice Sometimes I need both hands to do things. So, it's like we're having a late dinner tonight, but we're, we've got it cooked already. So, we got out here a little after noon. So, 12 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock now. We're starting to uh, pack things up. I'll take you over here and show you what Michael did. He was mainly working on this end over here. I was working on this end. So we'll walk over here. So, we're doing a lot of work on the front end. Hopefully not so much work during the summer, but we shall see. This was a pretty solid weekend of work. Like I said, we got out here at uh, around noon today, and then we have worked pretty much non-stop, so a good seven hours. Michael's got the sprinkler going. So, um, we've got some, uh, what are these? Squash. Squash planted. They'll help act as ground cover for the corn. We've got squash planted. There's one okra plant there in the middle. Four rows of corn. And then, are these pumpkins or melons? Melons. So we got some melons down here, right there, right there. What type of melons? I am not sure. That's some kind of watermelon. Is that what's on the far end too? If I would venture a guess, I would say uh, black diamonds and sugar babies. Okay. Two of each. We got melons on both ends. All right, well, we're starting to pack it up, but that's what we did today. Thanks for watching.